Hey hey and welcome to the next video of the mini series about mobile scanning. Here I will show you my cleanup workflow for scans that I take with my smartphone. We go through different stages of cleaning up the model, from purely visualization, 3D printable, to game ready and augmented reality. I start with the bare minimum with what can be done for cleaning up a really messy model like the one I have prepared. Let's start by deleting our default cube by pressing A for selecting all and hitting X for delete and hit enter. Go to file and import your scanned model, which you either scanned with polycam or reality scan. I chose one of my scans that I did with polycam. If you would like to follow this cleanup process with this exact model, you can download it from my sketchpad that is linked in the description. So when the model is loaded, inspect it for a few seconds and check the shape and what has to be cleaned up. So we have here a wrong pivot point. The beard is very messy, so we have to cut that out. The wireframe mode shows us that the mesh is very high dense. This could potentially make problems when you want to use it in large 3D scenes. And the material preview shows us the imported texture from Polycam. So the shader that was imported uh, from Polycam is very glossy. Going into the shading tab, here you have a whole material for your model. We'll have a look. If your model is not metallic, then this won't make any sense. Just remove that one and the roughness is also wrong. It should be very rough so from 0.9 to 0.95 go back to layout this looks a lot more like it all right let's fix the pivot point right click set origin set the origin to geometry and then right click again and snap the selection to cursor Let's have a look in front view mode. What we do next is go to show overlays. Check the checkbox that says statistics. And if you have a look on the left, there are some numbers that will guide us through the whole cleanup process. So personally, I orient myself on the number of the faces. So around 72,000 is my starting point. And the next important thing is Check always the size of the model. If you are displaying it in VR or in your rendering, it could happen that it will be a bit oversized. So let's hit N and go to item. Yeah, well, 3.5 meters is not a really realistic size for this model. So I measured it and it's about 28 centimeters. And we have here a little elevation, so I would say Let's divide it by 10. Let's zoom in a bit. So now let's have another look at the mesh. The least we need to do with the mesh is tapping into edit mode select all by hitting A, go to mesh and clean up, delete loose if any, again select all with A, mesh clean up, merge by distance, this will remove 3557 vertices, so that's good. Then also we can fill holes. For a purely quad mesh you can use four sides to fill holes, but for photogrammetry meshes you really don't have a clue how much sides those holes have. So let's go up to 100 and make sure that every hole is closed. So if you have a really perfectly scanned model, you could leave it here. And if you just have a look at the material preview, this would be enough for a very distant rendering. 
But of course we don't have a perfect mesh and also we don't want to leave it in the first stage. So let's go to solid mode and continue our cleanup process. Now, if you would like to remove this portion, activate X-ray mode in the top right corner and tap into edit mode. In the vertex mode, you could select everything what you don't like and then just hit X and delete it. But of course, if you have a look at this, it leaves a very uneven edge. And we have a big hole in here. An alternative to this is, let's reset it quickly. Another method uh, would be to bool the unwanted area out. So if you hit Shift A and go to Mesh and select a cube, scale it down to about the size of the gnome. And just position it like where you would like to cut out the bottom. Right about this. Alright, choose your object, go to modifier properties and choose the boolean modifier. And then choose the cube as the intersecting object. Then you can check the result with hiding the cube. And then you can apply it. The cube has done its job, it goes into the void. The advantages of this method are that we can still use our texture. So the texture has, has been untouched and it still applies on the model. So right now the model is still very very messy. One last thing, right click and shade smooth. And this is really stage one if you would like to use your mesh for visualization for 3D renderings or so, because your texture is still functioning and as long as you don't touch the overall shape or remesh any geometry, your texture can still be applied.